incredible that this thing can still float. These wooden planks are lifted by a pulley system. They must be part of the machinery used to build ships. Just a pile of junk. Whatever these barrels are holding, I'm more than certain that it's not usable anymore. Ugh, my stomach. These crates are bigger than the other ones I found at the shipyard. It's a toolbox. It doesn't have many tools. There's a hammer, a wrench, and some valves inside. I'll take a valve. It still looks intact, even though it was left here years ago. What the hell kind of a valve is that? These wooden stacks are useless because they're rotten. The light filtering through these windows is just enough for me to see what's inside this shipyard. Definitely too big for me to move. These crates are... Barrels and more barrels. It doesn't seem like there's anything else in this work yard. It doesn't make it... It's a control panel. I think it's used to control the pulleys hooked to the roof. I don't need it now. Given the state of this bridge, I'd say that this shipyard has been abandoned for a while now. Impossible. Hmm. There's a door on the opposite side. I'm certain that it leads to the port's entrance. Definitely too far. It doesn't make any sense. I don't need it now. came from those crates. <laughs> a kid? What the hell is a little girl doing here? Hey, little one, what are you doing here? Whistle and fine. She has Sean's horn. He must have hit her here. Hey, kid, did Sean hide you here? Sean. She's terrified. I need to get her away from here. I'll figure out who she is and why Sean hid her here later. From the whistle that she has with her, there's no doubt that Sean hid her here. But why? She's terrified. If I tried to grab her, she might scream, and the patrol officers at the port would definitely hear her. If I want to get her away from here, I have to calm her down first. If I could put this doll back together, I could use it to calm the girl down.
Woohoo! Isn't this exciting? Here, I'll turn this off and then turn it back on when I'm done. Way to keep the pieces together. If I use the metal wire, it should be okay. I'd say that it's perfect. I have a future as a toy maker. I hope this helps her calm down a little. It looks like the toy calmed her down. Now that I've got her out of there, I have to find a way to get her away from this place. I can't go by the piers. If the girl started to cry or yell, the cops would catch us immediately. But I saw a door on the opposite side of the pier. I could use that to get away. It's just a question of finding a way to get there that doesn't involve swimming. Me and water don't mix. Maybe I could use the pulleys to connect the opposite side of the pier. Nothing's happening. It looks like it's out of order. I could check the machinery. Maybe I can find a way to turn it on. I can't think of... How the hell are you supposed to do that? Located where they are, they... The light filtering through... Given the state of this bridge, I'd say that this shipyard... There's a panel here. There's not enough light to see anything. Let's take a look. These screws stop the panel from coming undone. Wow, really? It's more than 50 bucks. It's mostly the money that, I'm embarrassed to say, I took from Sean's pockets. Good idea. Have a little initiative, please. Do I really have to unscrew every single screw myself? Okay, now I have all nine valves. Let's see if I can get it to work. What am I trying to do here?
Yes, that should work now. An indicator light just turned on. Now it should work. position them like this, I should be able to reach the opposite side of the shipyard. I doubt I'd be able to open... I doubt I'd be able to open the door, as long as there's this bin in the way. What bin? our emergency bridge. Let's get the girl and go. In the balance. I'm always in the balance. Whether it's a whiskey bottle or wooden planks, it makes no difference. My life is always in the balance. Oh, shut up. Christ, you pretentious. She seems to have calmed down now. She's playing with that mouse-shaped doll. I think it was a mouse. Oh 
my god, you look like a robot. Hurry up! It probably weighs at least double my weight. It's impossible to move it as long as it's full. Hmm. Let's shoot it then. It's a terrible idea. Why? It probably... As long as this barrel's... Barrels. It doesn't make any sense. Given the state of this... Barrels and more barrels. Doesn't make any sense. Incredible. Just a pile of junk. I think I can do without it. Boat launches that luckily will never see the sea. The wood is starting to rot and the nails are completely rusted. Maybe one of the nails used on these boats could be helpful. Helpful for getting tetanus. This nail isn't coming out. No shit. The rust doesn't seem to have corroded it completely. It can still be used. That is the biggest nail I've ever seen in my life. This nail isn't... This nail... Nail... <laughs> nail... <laughs> this nail... put a hole in the bottom of the barrel. I could empty it. Once it's empty, it shouldn't be a problem to move it. Good. Now I can leave this damn shipyard. John? Oh, you here? Where you go? Nowhere in particular. Start the car. We have to leave quickly. Quickly? What have happened? You have ended in trouble again? Enough questions. Get ready to leave. I have to get something from the yard, and then we'll go. I don't like this. You go to port without girl, and now girl in my cab. It's not your cab. Oh, always looking at detail. Anyway, it's not normal find girl at port. At port, they're fish, boot, homeless people, not girl. At the port, you find whatever is left behind. Until now, I found a dead body and a kid. Maybe someone else was luckier. You need go to police. I don't want to be accused of kidnapping because of you. Forget the police and drive. Ah, pointless talking to you. I've heard that before, but people keep trying. You still not tell me where we going? Someone is looking for this girl, and it looks like they would do anything to get her. Taking her to my house would be stupid. You only need half a brain and a telephone book to figure out where I live. Hence, I need a safe place. John, you wait here and watch the girl. Now I be babysitter? Right. It'll be good experience for when you have kids. I already have kids, but they far away. You left them in China? No, Detroit. They have Chinese restaurant. Whatever. Let's forget about it. Just take care of the girl.
Greta's place is closed. A normal post box. Trash. I'm not desperate enough. Greta. Danation, Greta, answer me. Who is this? Greta, it's Jack. Jack, do you know what time it is? I know, Greta, but I need your help. You can't make up your mind on what brand of whiskey to get drunk on? It's got nothing to do with booze. Open up. First, tell me why you're at the door to my place in the middle of the night. Open up and I'll tell you. I have no intention of opening this door unless you give me a good reason to do so. <laughs> what was that? The reason why I'm here. But that's a kid's voice. What trouble are you in? Let me in and I'll tell you the whole story. While I'm explaining the whole thing, Greta helps me with my busted lip. That ape at the port almost ripped off my whole jaw. I tell her about Sean, the girl, and why I came here. After some convincing, she agrees to take care of the girl. When she's done cleaning me up, she takes the girl upstairs and is kind enough to leave a bottle of whiskey on the table. Ignoring the fact that my cut lip might reopen, I down a few glasses. I need to relax, and nothing relaxes me like a good whiskey. Come on. Wake up. We need to get on board. Right. We have a boat to catch. Ugh, not this guy again. Alright, well, that's it for now. See you guys later. Alright, I have a little bit more that I need to record. These warehouses will all be abandoned now. God, your accent, your fake accent is fucking horrible, dude. Apart from the rotten wooden crates, barrels, and sacks, it doesn't look like there's anything else here. There's not much left of that raw boat. The part is full of wooden crates, barrels, and sacks, and it all looks like it's been here for a while. It doesn't look like there's any... It's the car that I came in. No, I can't use the car. Based on how things are turning out, the only way I can leave this city is by sea. It's a dar and it's blue. I can't think of anything else to describe it. I dar. <laughs> it's closed. You had to walk all the way there to fucking to, to fucking say it's closed. Fuck you. No, I'd say that the sun is not shining today. There are some empty bottles. I'd say that it's grog from the label. It's a public telephone, probably used for port-related calls. Does grog really exist? I thought it was just a drink from freaking Monkey Island. A can with a black substance inside. Maybe pitch. From the smell, I'd say it's pitch. <clears throat> if I need it later on, I know where to find it. Better leave it here for now. These wooden crates seem to contain toys, at least judging by the logo on them. Pretty pointless to carry around. The harbor master's office.
Is this where you're bored? Son, didn't anyone ever tell you to say hello before you start asking questions? I'm in a hurry. Yeah, you kids today are always in a hurry. You're always running around and only doing things halfway. But things take time, otherwise you just end up with a bunch of crap. I'll keep that in mind, but I need to get on board urgently. Son, I don't know what brought you and that little girl here, but this isn't a tourist port. Only sailors and fishermen leave from here, and you don't seem to be either. If you really need a ship, you can go to Riverside. There, with a couple of bucks, you'll find dozens of well-dressed sailors, who will be more than happy to ferry you around the East River and tell you all the juicy details about the city. I'm not a tourist, and I need to leave from here. Now. The only way for you to leave from here is as a sailor. No nautical documents, no access. I have to board. It's a matter of life and death. I'm sorry, but like I already said, without documents, I can't let anyone leave from here. Forget about it. Whatever. Yeah, that'd be my reaction too. Whatever. First I have to go through all the procedures to Bard. I don't know the time or the pier where the ship I have to Bard docks. What the hell are you talking about? Ooh, nice. Silencer. A gun with a silencer. The quietest way to take care of certain business. Fifty bucks. Dry whiskey. Me daily dose of happiness. Saint Marie. That's the only thing I can read on this napkin. I can't make out the rest. John Fard. Born in Portland, 1898. I'd better remember this. It will be my identity for a long time. Here are my papers. Hmm. So your name is John Ford. Right. A case of homonymy. What ship do you need to board, John Ford? The Saint Marie. Saint Marie something. I, I don't remember the whole name. The Saint Marie de la Mer. I know that you aren't a sailor or a fisherman, but at least try to study your part better for the next time, son. There won't be a next time. One last thing. The girl's boarding documents are in order, but her name isn't on them. Is she your daughter? Y yes, she's my daughter. What's her name? Emily. Emily Fard. Okay, the documents are in order. The Saint Marie de la Mer will dock in a few hours. Thanks. Good luck, son. You'll need it. Right. Jack. 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 Oof. It seems like my bar is making you sleepy lately. It, it was ju it was just a few seconds of fatigue. You were saying a name during your moment of fatigue. What name? You were talking about an Emily. Who's that? I no, it's no one. I just had a bad dream. Speaking of which, did you take care of the girl? Yes. She's sleeping peacefully in my room now. Maybe you better go to bed too. You're dead on your feet. I can't leave the girl here and go away. Calm down. I'll take the opportunity to clean the joint a little. Oh, you should also tell me what do I have to do with your new friend. Who? The Chinese cab driver. Ah, Chan. I almost forgot about him. 
I'm not crazy about the idea that he might be going around telling half the world that he found a girl at the port. It's not like you could... Keep him here? I know I'm asking you a lot, Greta. Don't worry. I'll keep him here until he wakes up. But you owe me a favor. As soon as this thing's over, I'll buy you dinner at one of those clubs on the Upper East Side that you like so much. Sure. Anyway, get out of here before you fall asleep on my bar again. Alright, well I think that's enough. I'll talk to you guys later.